everyone it's another tutorial by Dolly V Crafties I say welcome to you all and welcome back I'm going to show you how to make a zigzag turban cap base with a stretchy fabric and a non stretchy fabric and I'm going to show you how to line it the essence of this video is basically to show you how to make a lined zigzag turban base okay and i'll be explaining to you how you can use a stretchy and a non-stretchy fabric so please pay attention i'll be using a stretchy fabric in this video for this illustration but i'll be explaining how you can use a non-stretchy fabric now the first set of pieces i've cut out is for the zigzag part of the turban cap okay. the measurement is four and a half inches by 15 inches length i have this in six places this measurement is good if you're using a stretchy fabric okay and also depends on the head circumference this is for an head circumference of between 22 and 23 inches if your head circumference is between 22 and 23 inches you can use 15 inches length if your head circumference is more than that you can make this part 16 inches all right you can always cut off the excess if it is required now if you're making use of a non-stretch fabric add two inches allowance to your earth circumference for example if the earth circumference is 22 inches what it means is my cap base will have a circumference of 24 inches after we are done all right we'll add an extra one inch allowance in that case if you are cutting this part you can make it up to 17 inches 17 inches by four and a half inches because the cap needs to be free on the head so that it can be easily worn we're going to be attaching a strap at the back to hold it down after it has been worn we're going to be folding each of them into two this way so i have each of the pieces folded into two this way i'm going to place this on top of the first one like this in form of a v in form of a v like this form of a v the fabric stretch is like a measure earlier so you are cutting the edge circumference part from the stretchy part of the fabric so i have it like this okay so i can use my paint to hold it down so make sure that this part touches this part then this end touches this part that's in form of a v all right so you're placing it like this and we're going to sew we're going to sew from here this way then when you get here you do a curve you sew in form of a curve like this in form of a curve like this when you get here that's as i'm sewing you're coming like this when you get here you cover it like that okay you're not sewing that V, that sharp end, you are sewing it in form of a curve. So I'm going to sew this now and I'll show you the next step. I've sewn it as you can see. I'm just going to trim this V part. I'm going to trim it off. Just follow that um, curve, okay? I'll just follow the curve like that. Okay, that's the V part and this is what we have. So we're going to continue to arrange our zigzag, okay? Just like you normally do. Okay, and then um, this is the next one. I place it this way. My pins to hold it down. After holding it down, I'm going to sew from here. Okay, this way. So I'm placing like this. Okay, and then sew from here like that down. You pick the next one like this. Place it on it like this. Okay, and repeat the same procedure. The last one, place it on like this and repeat the same procedure. So I'm going to do that and continue from there. All right, as you can see, I've sewn them together. Although remember I said we are placing the second layer. You make sure you sew on the thread on the first layer so that you have enough allowance to join the lining okay so for this third one you can always sew on the second one away from the thread you understand so this is the third one and this is where i stitch it to the two layers can you see 
I did my sewing, I did a curve, okay? So that it will relax well on the, on the head. If you don't do that curve, it will relax. So I'm going to just trim this, follow that curve like that to trim off the excess. Okay, I trim off the excess like that all the way down. So this is what we have, okay? Now, the next step is for us to cut out two pieces of fabrics and then one is for the lining and one is for the body of the turban. Now, the first one, which is for the body of the turban, the measurement is the head circumference. Head circumference by the length. The length could be up to 12 inches, 14 inches, or even 16, depends on how long you want your turban to be. So in my own case, the air circumference I'm working with is 23 inches. If you're using a very stretchy fabric, use your exact head circumference. If your, your fabric does not stretch much, you can add half an inch, seam allowance. This is for the body of the turban. Now for the lining. This is for the lining and the measurement remains the head circumference to the same measurement of the head circumference by 16 inches in my own case. This is what I did. The length of my own turban is 14 inches. So I added 2 inch allowance, alright? Because of how we're going to join our line, it is required. The length of your lining should be more than the length of your turban by 2 inches. Please pay attention to this part. I'm going to fold my band. This is my band. I fold it into two to get the midpoint. And I notch. So we do. Now I have my lining. I fold it into two to get the midpoint. And I notch. So after I notch, I'm going to attach it to the band. So how do I attach it? This is the right side of the band. This is the upper part of the band. This one will be facing up. While this side is the wrong side of the band. Okay? So, on this first layer, can you see? This is the first layer of the top. And we have one, two, three. The first layer of the band, I mean, this is it. That is where we are going to be attaching our lining. So, this is the midpoint. I place the middle to mid point on the first line can you see so this allowance here which i mentioned earlier that is required is needed when it comes to this part so we are going to attach our lining on this part like this we are going to sew it like that like that to this side okay and we'll come to this side and continue to sew from here like that so, deeper. so how do you sew? Let me hold this down with my pin so that you can see. So I have the wrong side of the lining facing up. Can you see? It's facing up. By the time we join our lining, it's going to be like this. So we have the wrong side of the lining facing up, the wrong side of the band also facing up. So I'm going to pick my lining i'm going to attach it i'm going to stitch it to my band this way i just place it like this can you see i fold this in and place it on my sewing machine and i'm going to sew like that from here to here then from here to here can you see you just pick it like that while you're sewing you pick it like that while you're sewing you pick it like that and sew to this point then on this side you pick it like that on the first layer you're picking the first layer of the band the first piece of the band so you pick like that and so so i'm going to do that now and we'll continue from there all right friends as you can see i've attached my lining to the first layer of the band can you see i've attached it like that so by the time you turn it this way you can see this is how the inner part of the cap is going to look like okay you may have this thread part visible, it's fine because it's the inner part of it and it's better than having fraying hedges, you understand. So we're going to take it back to the upper part of the band. This is the upper part, this is the right side of the band, that's the one that will be facing up. 
and this is how we're going to attach the body of our turban so this is the body of our turban we'll fold it like this into two and notch to get the midpoint okay we'll notch like that and we're going to place it this way can you see the wrong side of the body of the turban facing up and we're going to place the middle to middle this is the middle of our band so we'll sew like that the same way so this time around we are sewing it on the third that's this layer remember this is one two three the third layer of the band so we are going to sew it like that from here to here and from here to here i've joined the body of the turban to my lining as you can see okay so you'll notice that the band is in excess yes it's better to have it in excess you can always trim it off okay so i'm just going to trim this off like this okay so this is what we have now based on my explanation earlier i mentioned that the lining has to be longer than the body of the turban yes it is required because of where we joined our lining so now i've opened it up can you see and this is our band can you see so this is the wrong side of the fabric now with the lining this is the lining can you see and when you turn it this way this is the right side of her turban let me show you why we had this in excess look at where we joined our lining this is where we joined the body of the turban why this is where we joined our lining so there is an allowance there is a space here so that extra space is required for you to extend the length of your lining so that it doesn't become shorter i hope you understand so that it doesn't become shorter can you see so if it's eventually longer at the end of the day please trim off the excess so please hold the two fabrics together with your pins so that your cutting will be straight so that everything will rhyme so that these pieces will not move away while you're working so i've done that okay and this is it so we're going to fold it this way like we make a turban cap the same way use your office pin to hold down the bands together this is exactly 23 inches yes it's exactly 23 inches in fold that's 11.5 inches in fold so when i had added my band i have 15 inches if you still want if you want to reduce the length you can go ahead and just cut off the length you understand but because of the kind of hair this person will be putting on this length is required to accommodate it so i'm going to leave it this way and i'm going to shape from here i measure four inches then i'm going to shape it like this shape it like that I'm going to cut this off. I'm going to sew it from here this way, like this. Okay, I've joined the edges together like this, this way. So before you go ahead and do the finishing of sewing gathers this way, like this, from here to here, we are going to take this to. You need to take it to a sajja weaving machine to lock the edges for you. Okay so after that you will now sew loose stitches with your needle and thread from here to here you pull to form gathers and then secure it like that you know how to make a turban cap just do the finishing like you make a turban cap and you are going to end it right here don't sew loose stitches up to the band area just after where you did your zigzag just sew it like that and you finish up that way To secure it properly I'll just take my needle through backward and stitch it this is what we have can you see our neatly sewn turban can you see our neatly sewn zigzag turban so now this is for a stretchy um, I mean if you're using a stretchy fabric that's how we're going to hand it so if you're using a non stretchy fabric remember the S circumference here will be wide after you must have done all these joinings, you should have 
your head circumference is only here plus two inches allowance so that it will be easier for you or your client to put it on on your head so now after it sits on your head how does it stay well it needs to fit properly on there we need to add a strap right here and this is what we're going to be doing so uh, let me show you on a non-stretchy fabric i'm working on the non-stretchy fabric at the moment for a client and then this is it can you see it's also lined the same way it's also lined the same way i have this and uh, let me just turn it inside out the client has a hair circumference of 20, 24 inches so after i've done all this i have 26 inches now this is 26 inches i mentioned earlier that you should have about two inches extra all right so i have cut out a piece which i'm going to use to make my to have my strap at the back and the measurement is five inches by six inches okay five inches by six inches so i'm going to fold it this way wrong side facing up i fold it this way and i'm going to sew from here to here and sew from here to here i'll leave this opening for me to turn it inside out which i already did so this is it here i just turn it inside out like this push out the edges like that okay so this is what we have and i'm going to fold this in we're going to fold this in and we're going to sew in the edges like this and so okay i've sewn it like that like um as you can see and this is what we're going to be doing on the back of the cap remember we have two inches extra allowance so from this point i'm going to measure one inch two inches divided by two that's one inch and mark so this is where i have my one inch I mark one inch here as well so by the time i had my velcro or my strap this is how it's going to look like on the edge okay so this is how i'm going to have my velcro i have my velcro tape some call it plaster some call it magic tape and this is it and we are going to attach one part of it attached to this our piece why this other part will be attached here the one i'm going to attach on this part is going to be smaller than this so this should be about one and a half inches two inch let's just make it one and a half inches okay and i'm going to attach it here look at the one inch mark right here i'll attach it here let me just use my paint to hold it down for the purpose of this video like this and this other one i'm going to attach this one this way just right here not up to the edge here you can turn this some part down okay turn it down and attach this here look at where i'm attaching it that's two inches away from here measure two inches from here and place your velcro tape like that my strap right here and i'm going to sew on this one inch mark can you see i'll sew it from here i sew it like this i can put two i can just sew it twice i just stitch here and here just to keep it in place so and that is what we're going to be holding our turban together at the back so this is how it's going to look like let me sew and show you the final look just be worn this way can you see that's how it's going to be worn so that way it will be easier for you to Put it on. This is how I line my zigzag base. 